Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're in the city of Truro. Truro is the capital of Cornwall. We actually struggled to find a walk around Truro so we've made one up. Truro has loads of car parks, plenty of information boards as to whether they're full or not. We're actually going to go to the front of the cathedral, Cathedral Square, to start the walk. So just outside the cathedral, hidden under a tree, is an ancient Celtic cross. What do you know about it? Well, the earliest records of it come from 1290, but it's felt to be much older. 900 years old? Yeah. And wow. it was discovered by workmen in 1958 when they were doing some roadworks and it was repositioned to where they think it would have been originally, which is just outside the cathedral square here. When we arrived at the cathedral there was a service in progress, so we visited at the end of our walk. If you follow this walk, of course you can visit at the beginning or at the end. We're going to take the right hand side, go down the right hand side of the cathedral to Cathedral Lane. Troke Cathedral was only built in 1880, that's when it was started, one of the first cathedrals to be built for 800 years in England. The original church, St Mary's, is here and the cathedral is built on the side of it. Cathedral Lane's got some gorgeous little boutique shops. the cathedral lane you come out opposite Lloyd's Bank we're gonna turn left so we're now in Postgowan Street the centre of Truro as you look along the street you can see the older buildings the one in front of me is quite new and has an interesting past so where the co-op building is today that was the site of the Red Lion Hotel, which was a 17th century hotel, one of the finest in Truro. In 1967, there was a terrible accident. A lorry coming down Lemon Street lost control, no brakes, went straight into the facade. Councillors at the time said it was too expensive to rebuild. If you're interested in finding out more about the Red Lion and that fateful day, in the Cornwall Museum in Truro, they've got one of the Red Lion Ridge tiles. In Boscaran Street you'll notice City Hall, a very impressive building, used to be the centre of municipal activities, now it's a theatre. What are they doing in there? They're making Just more... Just it, putting more seats in I think. At the bottom of Boscaran Street you'll find Coinage Hall, now Pizza Express. The building we see here today was built in 1847 on the site of the old Coinage Hall. In 1327 the King proclaimed Truro as a stannery town. One of the primary reasons for Coinage Hall was the collection of taxes on tin. Leaving the War Memorial behind us, we're going to the right of Coinage Hall, down Prince's Street. We've just taken a right from Prince's Street towards the market and you come through a little tunnel. Oh look, this comes out on Lemon Key, and there's a craft market going on! The place I want to go is in the craft market, though I love craft markets. It smells amazing in here, I guess that's this one, Kerno's Bar. Christmas gift boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a hundred years ago, this was the river, we actually stood where the river ran. There was a quay here, wasn't there? Yeah. Outside of City Hall there, the back, the back of City Hall. It's called Lemon Quay. Lemon Quay. It's now a plaza with lots of shops around Marks and Spencer's Primark, all that sort of thing. We've come up on the top of Marks and Spencer's multi-storey car park. We're trying to find a really good view of the city <laughs> without too many roofs and stuff. Let's see what we can see. <laughs> can you see anything? Why am I so sure? <laughs> Perched. <laughs> mm. 
I need insurance to do this, you two been malarkey. Coming off Lemon Key, head for the four red phone boxes. Next door you'll find a restaurant called Manning's. We're on the hunt for a river that used to feed this key. Where's the river? No. Next to Manning's is a little lane. We're going to go down there. This little lane is called Robert's Oak. And just over the wall, we can make out the river. What do you know about how Truro got its name? Well, allegedly, Truro in Cornish stands for the three rivers. But nowadays, there's only two. We've got the River Kenwyn and this River Allen. Many, many moons ago, apparently, there was a third. So we're just going to make our way back up to Lemon Key and turn right up Lemon Street. What's in this, sir? It talks about Lemon Street is named after the Lemon family, the leading merchants who built the quay and surrounding streets. The elegant townhouses of this affluent area can be seen along this prominent street in Truro. It is beautiful, isn't it? So this is where the gentry used to live. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's all offices now, but I suppose at least the houses are in use. Number 22 is certainly a fine house. It's even got window lights in the roof and a basement. I wonder what that was like in its heyday. All these beautiful cut granite tiles to make up the pavement. All the way up the street, though. Part way up Lemon Street is the Plaza Cinema, an art deco building in a Georgian street. This is a fantastic Georgian street. Why are we coming up here then? We're coming up here because of the noisy cars that are behind me. <laughs> You've got car bombs. At the top of Lemon Street, you'll find there's a memorial, a statue to Richard Lander. Ooh, let's get up there and you can tell us more. So this says, to honour the enterprise and sufferings of the brothers Richard and John Lander, and especially to commemorate the early fate of Richard, explorer, who died in 1834, aged only 30. It commemorates Richard and John Lander. There's only one figure out there? There's only one figure out there, which is Richard. The second thing is, when they were modelling the statue, there weren't many images of Richard. So they actually used his daughter, who was said to bear a striking resemblance to him. So it's a woman's face? Yeah. And the third <laughs> thing was, a year after that was built, the, the column was built, in 1835, it fell down. <gasps> Apparently it was an earthquake. It Sarah, after you. Come, we're going back down Lemon Street now to find the Lemon Street Market. It's shut. Think, think, think. I'm not very good at thinking. Go back up Lemon Street. Going to go down Charles Street and through the multi-storey car park. So where are we going? <laughs> I'm going to take you to a beautiful crescent. Hmm, it's not looking too promising at the moment. That's me. So this gorgeous little crescent is Walsingham Place. It's so quiet, you can't believe you're actually in a city. Of course, this used to be houses. Again, it's all offices, but uh, kept beautifully. Look, absolutely gorgeous. Any idea why the lions? Yeah, well, that was to symbolise these were the first houses in Truro with roaring fires. <laughs> is that the main reason? <laughs> I bet the owners were really full of pride. Hey, I'm doing better than him today. <laughs> it's a good job they weren't wildebeest. I don't Why? know any wildebeest jokes. <laughs> Walsingham Place leads on to Victoria Square. Mallet's Home Hardware, an independent shop. And look at their Christmas window. It's beautiful. Again, if you were here about 200 years ago, I think this is where the river runs. I think it's under the ground here. We're going to go left. We're going to go up River Street to find the Royal Cornwall Museum. I think it's a fiver for an adult to go in there. Lots of interesting things in there, Egyptian money. And the roof tile from the Red Lion Hotel. So we're going to go straight up St George's Road, past the Wigan Pen. Heading up St George's Road, there's a couple of lovely churches if you wanted to take a look. We're not going to today. There's also the viaduct in front of us that carries our main train line from London. 
What do you think that other pillar is for? Here? Yeah. Well, that would have been for the original railway viaduct, which would have had a, a wooden top for the track. Oh, to I wonder on. if we can find an old photo of that. Maybe. But the main reason we're going up here is to find Victoria Gardens. <laughs> Tinky Winky. When I worked in Truro, I used to park up here, walk down by the leaks every day. In the spring, there'd be the little ducklings following their mummies. It was so lovely. So where are we now then, Sarah? <laughs> Victoria Gardens. This drinking fountain used to be in Boscan Street on the site of the memorial now. So these gardens have been laid out for public use commemorating Her Majesty Queen Victoria. What are you doing? You aren't meant to be on there. Stops away, <laughs> boys. Stuck. <laughs> Don't damage it. You are so naughty. Now gonna leave Victoria Gardens in one piece and go back down to the Leeds all the way to the cathedral. <laughs> We're going to go back onto Pydar Street. There's plenty of little cut throughs that you can take. Truro has lots of these troughs or kennels. My mum always used to say they were designed to take the rubbish away. Pydar Street, lots of big branded shops. I want to see some of the Christmas windows. <laughs> inside the cathedral. Couldn't go in this morning because there was a service on. So we've just been in the cathedral but I'm showing you this beforehand because they're practicing the organs. If the music sounds so disjointed, it's practice time. <laughs> isn't that brilliant? brilliant? So stirring, isn't it? shows us much easier than anything we could film. So that's the old church with the spire and then they built all of the cathedral around it. to the side of it. Truro. Couldn't find one. So we made up our own. Hope you've enjoyed it. <laughs> 10 out of 10.